Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Sunday School. Haven't we had a beautiful week this week? Oh my goodness, it has been so welcome, all this beautiful sunshine and warm weather. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've been keeping up with my countdown cross and I really like how it's turning out. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and keeping up with yours too. Today, we are gonna be looking at the story of the prodigal son. And this story is found in the book of Luke, chapter 15, through verses 11 through 32. And the prodigal son is a wonderful, wonderful story that tells us and shows us how much God loves us. It's got a great illustration of how deeply loved we are. And it's a story of a young man who goes out, leaves his family, goes out to seek his fortune, makes some bad choices, has some bad experiences, and then decides maybe it's better to return home. Uh, thinking, maybe not expecting a whole lot, but at least that he would have a warm bed to sleep in and some food to eat. And when he returns home, he is surprised that his father just opens up his arms and embraces him and welcomes him back and uh, with just such such love. And this uh, story tells us, it kind of shows us how our Heavenly Father also uh, opens up his arms and forgives us so freely and just loves us. Um, and so I hope you enjoy this story. We have a wonderful um, version that one of our youth has put together for us. So let's listen to the prodigal son. The Story of the Prodigal Son There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. After the younger brother received his share, he set off for a distant country. In this distant country, he bought the most extravagant clothes and had the most extravagant items with the best food you could get. However, after he had spent everything, there was a famine that hit. Because he had no money left, he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his field to feed his pigs. The younger brother decided he needed to go back to his father and tell him, I have sinned against you in heaven and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. However, the father said, Nonsense, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. The older brother was not happy about this, asking his father, I have served you all this time, and you throw my younger brother a party after he betrayed you. The father said, You should be happy of this, because your brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now is found. The end. two of our youth that put that video together for us. I'd like to give a shout out to them, to John and Grant. I know a lot of work went into building that, guys, so thank you so much. Well, now it's time for us to take a look at what activity we have for today. Now, boys and girls, you should have gotten uh, in my Sunday School packet several activity sheets to do. One of them is one of my favorite things, making paper airplanes. So I've got a paper airplane for you. It says, God loves me. You can cut, uh, color it, cut it out, and then maybe challenge one of your family members to see who can fly theirs the farthest or the more, more accurate. So have fun with that. Speaking of challenges and competitions, we have a fun event coming up 
This is called One, Two, Three, Grow, and I hope that you guys will uh, check it out and sign up to participate. Um, this is an interactive, uh, mission-based game that we have planned for the week of March 21st through the 28th. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to sign up, register um, your family, register everyone, your brothers, sisters, and if you want to invite a friend to join, you can have them sign up too. Um, and then what we'll do is you need to have someone in your family needs to have a smartphone or a device that they can download the Goose Chase Adventures app. We will send you all the information on what you have to do for that. We're, you don't have to make an account. We're just going in as a guest. And then once you get your team code and your game code, you'll go in and you will see a whole list of fun missions that are all about celebrating God's creation and all the signs of spring that we see and um, fun things about our faith. And so you can go in, you can complete missions and earn points for your team. We're gonna have three teams, team Zebedee, team Theo, and team Sparky. And so we're gonna see who wins this wonderful fun one, two, three, grow event. So I hope that you will join us, check out the e-news and, um, and the website for more information. And you can also email me. Uh, my information is on the website as well. So now it's time for us to see what Mrs. Jackson has for us today. Hi everybody. Welcome back to our handbell exploration. I'm gonna spend a little time um, reviewing just a couple of the things that I talked about last week. You can see on the table here, we have three, actually we have four, we have three handbells here that I put to show you the difference in sizes. This is the largest bell that we have. They do make larger, but this is the largest we have, and this is the smallest bell that we have, and they do make smaller ones. Let me ring them for you again, just so you hear. Look at the inside. There's a good opportunity to look at the inside of this bell. Anybody remember? This one has a special name. We call her Gloria. Anyway, and the inside is this clapper. It hits the side of the bell and starts the bell to vibrate. Here you go. I'll be ringing with both hands. And I have to put it on the table. I put it on the table to damp. There's foam under this, by the way. I'm not just putting it on a hard table. Um, and touch it with my hand to stop it from vibrating, and that stops the sound. Here's the middle size bell. Damp it on my shoulder, which is what we do most of the time. And our smallest bell. Ooh, that's high and bright, isn't it? So you may recall that last week, I took a bell apart, but I didn't have time to put it back together. So I'm going to do that for you this week. I've been practicing all week. Have you ever taken anything apart and when you put it back together you have parts left? I didn't want that to happen, so I've been practicing. So here we go. Here's the bell. I've already unscrewed the screw. You can see it right here. It's a big long screw. It fits down through the bell. Okay, so there's the handle. This little disc right here is called the hand guard. It keeps my hand from actually touching the bell when you're ringing. It's a small one on this bell. On our bigger bells, the hand guard is much bigger. Okay, hand guard. Now, here's the actual bell casting. Right? Isn't it pretty? Inside, nothing. Because here's our clapper much smaller than the one on Gloria that I showed you just a moment ago. Okay, so it goes back and forth, strikes the inside of the bell, starts the bell to vibrating, and that's what makes the sound. Okay, so put it back together. I can't just stack it this way. I've got to hold it up. Now there's a little, I need to take this glove off, which will not touch the outside of the bell. So the first thing to do to put it back together is to put this hand guard back on. All right. Now I'm going to put the handle on. There's a little there's a little pin here and a hole in the handle. Put that in. See that catches. Now turn that upside down. 
It's this little washer thing here goes inside the bell on that pin to keep the clapper from touching the bell. Put the clapper inside and screw it on this screw. This is a little tricky because I can't see the hole. Screw it until it clicks. That's good right there. Now I've got to tighten this screw. All right, let's try that again. Okay, tighten this screw and it pulls everything together. And there we go, the bell all back together and ready to ring again. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we can take them apart. Sometimes we do that to clean the hole outside the bell to make it all nice and shiny. But anyway, so there are the parts of the bell and how to ring and various sizes. And remember, handbells, we start handbells with grade three. And next fall, we'll be able to start that again. Hopefully we'll be back. Everybody can be back in person be able to start that again. So if this looks interesting to you, then stay tuned because there'll be opportunities for you to, to hear handbells and to play handbells. So today we're going to continue learning the song, Jesus Loves Me. Last week we learned the first part. So let's take a look at the board. You see the notes and the words for the first part are on the board and the words for the second part are on the board and we'll get there in a bit. So let's, let us review the first part, all right, where we've got our notes, where we've got our quarter notes and our new friend, the half note. Okay, I'm going to sing a little bit and you sing after me. Okay, listen first. Jesus loves me, this I know. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, breathe. Jesus loves me, this I know. Here's the second part. For the Bible tells me so. Are you ready? Let's try it together. Breathe with me. For the Bible tells me so. And do you remember that the part that comes next, even though the words are different, the notes are the same. Listen. They're the same as the first section. Little ones to him belong. Let's try that together. Here we go. Breathe. Little ones to him belong. And this one is totally different. They are weak, but he is strong. Let's try that. Here we go. Breathe. They are weak, but he is strong. Let's put that whole thing together. From the top. Are you standing up like a singer or sitting up straight and tall? That gets you the best singing sound. Here we go. One, two, breathe. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Very good. Now, before we go on to the, to the refrain, let's talk about our friend the quarter note. You remember the quarter note is the one where the head is filled in. So quarter note with a stem there. And the half note looks like it, but looks like someone forgot to color it in, and it's just open. The half note, twice as long as the quarter note. So listen, if I use these syllables, ta, 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 ta. So instead of putting another quarter note here or another ta, then we just tie this together and make it twice as long. 
ta 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 Sing that first phrase with me and let's think about quarter notes and half notes. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know. Twice as long. Okay? Because our songs have lots of different notes in them. Some are short and some are, and some are long. We have to have that for variety, otherwise songs would be very boring, wouldn't they? If they all had the, all just were made up just of quarter notes. Okay. So, here I've just written the words for you. Look at this. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So, we finished. They are weak, but he is strong. Here's the first phrase. Listen. Yes, Jesus loves me. Are you ready? Let's try that together. Here we go. Ready? Oh, it starts right here. Ready? Yes, Jesus loves me. Here's the next one. Yes, Jesus loves me. Notice how that one ends going down instead of going up. Here we go. Let's try the second part. Ready? Yes, Jesus loves me. And guess what happens here? This part is the same as this part. It goes up again. Yes, Jesus loves me. Okay, so we already know that. Here we go, the last phrase. The Bible tells me so. Want to try that with me? Here we go, ready? The Bible tells me so. Okay, very good. That's a lot to learn in a short period of time. Let's try putting this all together. Sing as much as you can. If you can only get a little bit today, that's okay. Here we go, just the chorus, just the refrain. Are you still standing like a singer? One, two, breathe. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Very good, boys and girls, and we know the whole song. I'm going to leave this on the board, and we're going to come back to this next week. This is a lot to learn. And this is a song, like I said last week, that boys and girls and adults have been singing for a long, long time. And it's one that you're going to want to know and remember. So we'll work on learning it again next week. This week in your Sunday School lesson, Miss Joy shared about how much God loves us. And this is a very good song for us to sing to remember that. And remember that God showed God's love through Jesus. Jesus showed us the way to love. And we can show that love to other people by how we treat them how we speak about them, um, and how we act toward them. So I hope this week, as you're singing Jesus Loves Me, that you remember to share the love of God with people that you meet as you go through the week. And I'll see you next time.